hair is on fire at all times. <laughs> uh, I, I just want to thank everybody that has been assembled here. And what you see here is a sampling of the Rainbow Coalition of Humanity, that we are better together, we are stronger together, and voting is certainly our voice, and we should not sit idly by and let anybody take that voice away. Again, we should be making it easier to vote, not harder to vote. And instead of playing politics with the ballot box, we can and should make our elections better. I do want to thank uh, Reverend Price from the NAACP, or Elder Price, and many of you may know that the NAACP, the National NAACP, is going to file with the UN Human Rights Council to talk about on the international stage what is going on in our country with regards to people using their power to suppress the greatest equalizer that we have, which is one woman, one man, one vote. I am so happy that the NAACP is taking this cause to the UN Human Rights Council. Thank you so much for that. Um, you have heard today from a broad group of stakeholders about how these attempts to limit access to the ballot box and diminish the voices of Ohioans are wrong. But instead of limiting the ability of voters to have a say, we should be empowering the people of this great state. Instead of playing politics with the ballot box, we can create better avenues and opportunities for folks to vote. There are some things that we could be doing in this General Assembly that will enhance the right to vote, like online registration would make our voting environment smarter and prevent data entry error. redistricting reform that would solve a whole lot of challenges that we have in the state. How about that? And how about we do redistricting reform right now? Let's not wait 10 years from now. Let's do it right now. How about we free registration of 16 and 17 year olds and engage young people in the election process young so that when they start, the younger that they start to be engaged, studies show the more likely they are to stay engaged. How about let's pass that bill? Yes. How about us having policymakers who are willing to use their political clout to inform folks of this great state about the various elections because there are no off-year elections. Every election matters from the school board member to the president of the United States of America. Every election matters. How about that? finding ways to engage eligible voters and folks who are not yet registered and help make elections more accessible. The fact that we have about 8 million registered voters in the great state of Ohio and many of those 8 million are not voting. I believe that in 2012 about 5.6 million of those folks voted. How about us going out to get the people who are registered but who are not exercising their right to vote? We should be expanding and protecting the right to vote. We will continue to speak out. We will continue to speak up. We will continue to use our voices because this cause is so high, we can't get over it. And this cause is so low, we can't get under it. And this cause is so wide, we can't get around it. Voter equality and opportunity for all folks. How about that in the great state of Legislative Black Caucus. Many of you may know that the Attorney General gave the Black Caucus the go ahead with the language for the Voter Bill of Rights. That will be before the ballot board this Thursday. So I encourage those of you who can come. I believe that starts at 9 o'clock in the morning on Thursday. This Thursday morning, the ballot board will hear the Ohio Bill of Rights and decide of whether it's one issue or two. We know that voting rights is a big issue and hopefully it is decided that it is one issue and so we can get this on the ballot to enshrine voting rights in the state's constitution so that the voters of this state will not be subject to political whims when it comes to having access to the ballot box. Finally, I want to close with a quote from Sister Helen Keller. And she once said that one must never consent to creep when one feels the urge to soar. And I hope everybody out here today who has testified today on Testimony Tuesday and all of you who have joined us for the right reasons that you feel the urge to 
sore. Because when ordinary people, when everyday ordinary people put a little extra on their ordinary, extraordinary things happen. And we will continue to work to make sure that all folks in this great state, young and old, black, white, Hispanic, Asian, male and female, have unfettered access to the ballot box. Thank you and God bless you all.